Welcome back from spring break, fourth grade. We're going to jump forward. All right, so our last assignment talked about medieval music. It can be a lot. <laughs> it can be a lot of times, but uh, as we learned last week, a lot of medieval music comes from the church. So I wanted you to listen and watch a couple parts of a mass that was kind of a reenactment of something old, because that's really what they would have been hearing. Uh, only really the wealthy, the powerful, and the influential had the money to be able to have musicians around. So we're seeing nobility, and then the church is able to support this music. So that's the music that we still know. It's the music that we still hear. And like I said, uh, when we go to church, we hear that stuff. It's the same melodies and everything. Uh, and every once in a while, we sing it in Latin as well. So we're going to jump forward. We're going to start looking at Renaissance music. So we're going to spend a week on Renaissance music, and we start to see a splitting. This is where we start to see music from the church but we see the music outside of the church. So we call it non-secular and secular. Music about God that's religious and music that is not. And so people that are playing instruments, this is where we start to see instruments come up. All that time that we spend on recorder, this is where the recorder becomes very popular. So this music might be a little bit more familiar, and it's going to be very different. It's not going to be as much of slow singing. It's going to be a lot more dances. It's going to be a lot more uh, fast songs and a lot of parts going on. So we can start to see how, oh, okay, the music that we have today is starting to sound a little bit closer to what we have. So that's your quick little introduction for the Renaissance. I'm going to uh, post a couple videos of some very famous pieces of music from the Renaissance, and we will talk about this a little bit more when we move on it next week. I hope you enjoy.